Hello and welcome back to another video. Today going to be going through a list of all of the cars in Forza Horizon 5 that need to be updated. So it's a long list of vehicles that need newer models adding to join or replace them as they're getting ridiculously out of date in some cases, as well as a couple of other cars that need throwing in really that I particularly like um, and also Africal Elf particularly likes. A massive thanks to Africal Elf for compiling this list of vehicles. Make sure to go and check out his Forza Horizon 5 Creative Hub, which has some great real car colours, among other things shared, to give him a thank you for putting all of these cars together for us today. As ever, I don't expect to see all of these added, but I'd love to see as many as possible updated throughout the life of this game and in future Forza titles. This list is of course subject to change as time goes on, because they'll potentially add some of these, so I might do updated videos at some point, um, down the line if you find this of interest. So do let me know what you think of this kind of video as we go through. If at any point during the video you think I've missed a car, do let me know in the comments. Would love to know what else you think needs updating, or if you think anything I've put in this list isn't worth really adding at all and the cars should just be taken out. Anyway, enough of that, let's get going with the list of vehicles because it is quite a long one. So here we go, in alphabetical order, kicking things off with some scaffolding on wheels that can tear TV presenters' faces off, which is of course the Aerial Atom 500 V8 that we have in the game at the moment from 2013, and that could be replaced with the newer Atom 4. Secondly, the Aston Martin DB11 from 2017 doesn't need replacing as such, but the addition of the DB11 Volante would be very nice to see, especially now we have convertible top animations. The Aston Martin V12 Vantage from 2013 could be joined by the brand new 2022 one. That first generation one was the subject of one of the most beautiful car reviews of all time on old Top Gear, and that made me particularly fall in love with those, so it would be brilliant to see the new one added. The Aston Martin V8 Vantage, again, doesn't need updating as such, because we have got the new one in there. However, a Roadster or maybe the F1 edition would be great to see alongside or instead of that. And more importantly than anything else on this list, add the old DBS The Audi R8s from 2013 and 2016 should really be updated to the second generation facelift at this point. A subtle change, but that does need adding. The Audi RS3 from 2020 has only just been added, but it is already the old model. There is a 2022 one now. Same goes for the older RS3, they could both be replaced with that. The Audi RS6s from 2003, 2009 and 2015 really need replacing with the 2018 model at this point, particularly the Avant because that's the cooler one, and similarly to that the Audi RS7 from 2013 could be replaced with the newer model, which is basically the coupe version of that RS6. The Bentley Bentayga from 2016 could be replaced with the new Speed model, which is faster and newer, surprisingly. The Bentley Continental Supersport from 2017 could be replaced with the new Continental GT. The BMW M2 from 2016 could be replaced or joined by the competition, the CS, or even the new one that's only just not quite come out when it comes out, maybe. The BMW M3s and M4s could be joined by the new Ugly Grill ones, um, the M4 just being the coupe of the M3, although I don't think we've ever had a four-door M3 in Horizon, so maybe just M4s, but we definitely need some of those ones with ugly grills, however hideous they are. The BMW X5M from 2011 could be replaced with a much, much newer one now that is getting very, very old. Not that I like it at all, I actually hate that car. Similarly to that, the BMW X6M from 2015 could also be replaced with a much newer one, even though I hate it even more than the X5 that I hate a lot. The Bugatti Chiron could be joined by the Pure Sport, the 300 Plus or the Super Sport, even though they're heavy lumps and don't get official speed records. Um, I don't like Bugattis if that wasn't particularly obvious already. But those do need adding alongside or instead of the original Chiron, which is quite old now. I'm not excited in any way by Cadillacs, but they could replace the CTSV from 2016 with the 2020 model. The Caterham R500, which I do like, from 2013 could be replaced with the newer 7 420 or 620. There's lots of new Caterham models that could replace that at this point. 
and the Chevrolet Colorado from 2017 could be replaced with the 2021 facelift, although I don't think it would be the sporty model. The Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat from 2015 and the Demon from 2018 could be replaced or joined by the new Hellcat Red Eye. Similarly, the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, so the four-door model from 2015, could be replaced with the 2021 version. And the Dodge Durango could also be replaced with a slightly newer facelift or the Hellcat or Demon version or whatever the faster version is called that has come out since then. Moving on to Ferrari. The Ferrari 458 and 458 Speciale need to be joined by the Speciale Aperta. Okay, it's not a new car, but it's newer than the 458s we have. Um, that Basically, Elf requested this. It's his absolute favourite car and it is an excellent, excellent car. And you know it must be good because I hate Ferraris normally. So for me to be excited about this, it definitely needs adding, basically, even if it isn't all that new anymore. The Ferrari 812 um, doesn't need replacing as such, but again, a GTS, so the convertible version, basically, or the Competizione, the faster version, would be a nice addition alongside, or maybe even instead of it. Again, with the F8 Tributo, it doesn't need replacing, it's the newest one, but a convertible would be nice. As with the 458s, a LaFerrari Aperta would also be a good addition, please, even though that's, again, an older car, but only if they make the roofs actually go up and down. The Portofino could be replaced with the Portofino M by now. The Ford F-150 Raptor from 2017 could be replaced with the 2021 or 2022 version. The Ford Fiesta ST from 2014 could be replaced with the 2022 model. The Ford GTs could be joined by the track-only new GT Mark II, which is an amazing thing if you've not seen those before. And the Ford Transit Super Sport van could be replaced with a newer Transit. There isn't a Super Sport van, but there is a Transit Sport. Or there's the new electric Super Van. Either of those would be great to see added. The Honda Civic Type R's could be joined or replaced with the latest facelift. I'm not sure if it's quite out yet, but when it is, that needs to come into the game to... We'll probably replace some of the old ones because we have got quite a lot of them. The Hummer could be replaced or joined by the new electric one. That would be something quite different and fun to see. It's of course based on the Rivian, which is another truck that would be good to see. Um, but that's a different story really. The Hyundai Veloster N could be replaced or joined by the i30N and i20N. Two excellent little hot hatches that look far better than the Veloster we've got. The Jaguar F-Type R needs replacing with the new facelift by now. I personally prefer the look of the old one, but the facelift is out, so we kind of need that replacing, and that F-Type is quite old now. The Jaguar XES could be replaced with the 2019-2020 version, and the XFRS could be joined by, I know there's not an XFRS now, but there is a new XFR, so it could be joined probably by that, because there isn't a new S to replace it with. The Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT and Trackhawk could be replaced with a newer one, but there may not be an SRT or Trackhawk version, so it might be quite a bit slower. And the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon from 2012 could be replaced with the 2021 Rubicon, even though it still looks pretty much the same as Jeeps have for a long, long time. The Koenigsegg Jesko, um, which is now known as the Attack version, the one in-game with the big wing on the back designed for more downforce basically, could be joined by the Absolute, which is the one with the fins on the back that's going for the speed record at some point. So it would be good to see that in the game, even if it was just an option to change the wing for the fins in the festival maybe, especially with the Venom F5 coming soon. Those two, to make it a fair comparison between the two, we need the properly fast Koenigsegg to go alongside that really. The Lamborghini Aventadors in the game could be joined by the new Ultime, or the Roadster versions of any of the existing ones would be nice to see. The Lamborghini Countach could be joined by the new one, if we can really refer to that as a successor at all, um, but it would still be cool to have it there, sat alongside the old one. The Hurricanes in the game could be easily joined by the STO. The Land Rover Range Rover Sport and Velar could be replaced with the updated ones, or even a full-size Range Rover would be good to see again too. We haven't had one of those for a long, long time. And the Lotus Exige S could be replaced with a uh, Cup 430, for example, or any number of newer versions of the Exige. The one we've got is quite an old one. 
I suppose technically as well, the Amira is supposed to be the new version of the Elise Elix Siege, although it's not really the same model at all, so that would be good to see at some point. The Maserati Gran Turismo S from 2010 could be replaced with the latest version. Same goes for the 2017 Levante, both of those have had a facelift since the model we've had in the game. Um, the Gran Turismo, it'd be interesting to see if they added the electric or petrol one of the new ones. Probably the petrol one as it's a Maserati. Moving on to McLaren with the 570S and 600LT. Um, they don't need updating, but again it would be nice to see convertible ones added with the roof functionality we now have. The McLaren P1 could be joined by the LM or GTR or both. The LM's road legal, so that kind of makes more sense. Similarly, the Senna could be joined by the GTR. The various AMG GTs need to be replaced with the Pro or the Black Series by now. Um, we've still got the base model of that in here, which isn't really worth having because you'd just drive the Aston Vantage if you wanted a base model. Um, the A45 AMG also really needs updating with the 2020 model. And the G65 could be joined by the G63. I wouldn't want to see the G65 go completely because I believe that's the V12 one. So a G63 added, which is the sort of more common one, I suppose, with the V8 would be good to see um, the latest iteration of that. Or maybe even the 4x4 squared that's about to come out would be good to see, although we didn't see the previous one. Another older request thrown in here is the SLS Black Series, because it's the SLS Black Series. That alongside the standard SLS would be so good to see. And the Morgan three-wheeler could be joined or replaced by the new Super 3. The Nissan 350 and 370 could be joined by the new Proto Z or 400 Z or whatever it's actually going to be called or is called now. We did get a Nismo version of the 370Z recently in car parts, but really we want the all new one added to the game at some point. The Pagani Huayra BC could be joined, well, by the standard model actually, which has been seen in a photo on Instagram or TikTok or something from Forza. So that's potentially returning, but it could also be joined by the Roadster BC or any of the new special editions and things such as the Huayra R maybe? I know that's not really road legal. Or the new Codalunga, which I don't think they're making more than a few of, but that would be good to see. The Porsche 718 Cayman GTS from 2018 and the older one could both be replaced with the 2020 version by now. The 911 Turbos could easily be joined by the 992 generation, so the newest one, and the Cayman GT4 from 2016 could be replaced with the 718 GT4, or even the all-new GT4 RS would be quite a good replacement for that, I think, at this point. The Subaru BRZ and Toyota 86s from 2013 could be replaced by the 2021 versions. And finally, the Volvo V60 Polestar could be joined by a newer model, although it would be the not Polestar model, because they've separated to a sub-brand now and are no longer the performance division of Volvo. So that brings an end to our long list of vehicles that need newer models adding to join or replace them in Forza Horizon 5 or in the Forza titles in general. A massive thank you again to Affable Elf for compiling this list for me. Do make sure you at least go and look at his creative hub um, to say thank you for putting together all of these cars for today's video. As I said at the start, I don't expect to see many of these added, but if some are added over the lifespan of the game, uh, it would be good to see. Or more likely, more of them to be added in future Forza titles would also be great. If you think I've missed a car, do let me know in the comments. I would love to know what else you think needs updating. Or if you think anything on the list isn't worth updating, also let me know about that. And let me know your opinions on some of the older cars that I threw in there um, that I think or that I'd like to see in the game. Also, do let me know if you enjoyed this style of video, because um, it's good to know which kind of things you guys enjoy, so see what I should be making more of. But otherwise, that is going to be all for today's video, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next video very soon. Thank you.